Of Yeshua, I might just say what the nation has said. The Nobel Prize has been given for less. You describe two kinds of writers and two kinds of writing, which I find really quite interesting. You say world writers and subject writers. Right. Could, right. You, could you take us on that journey? Because I have never heard it defined quite in that way. Take Faulkner. Faulkner really is great. He's great. He's the greatest writer of the 20th century. Believe me, I know that the Americans don't realize that this is so. But when you go, let's say, to South America, here were the South American writers, the biggest writers of South America speak about Faulkner. See what the French were speaking French, about Faulkner. Sure. Now, Faulkner is a writer of a word. What does he, that mean? Meaning that you go and he's speaking about the South in a certain, and the and the characters can pass from we transfer from the sound and the fury to Absalom, Absalom. Meaning he has these families that he is exploring, these uh, places that even he gave it his name. I remember uh, your court he was taking the Indian name of Memphis and uh, and uh, and other cities there uh, and bring it as a world that he was exploring all the time. This is a, 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 a writer of a world. But there is writers of subject. They don't have a world that they are committed to, a sociological, geographical, or subject, one subject word that they are committed to, but they are examining through their style and through their instrument different subjects. And I, for example, consider myself a very writer of subjects, running from one subject to another and examining it from different angles. This brings me quite naturally to some of the more provocative statements you have made about um, diaspora. One of the origins of the word diaspora is precisely to bring back together, to bring back together in a whole. Yes, but uh, the diaspora the, did not keep anything. I mean, you, you go to Poland, the Jews were living in Poland for 1,000 years, and you want to see how was the kitchen of right, the Jews, let's right. say, in the 14th century, right. you will not find anything. Right. All that is remaining is remaining in, write, in, in writing. What I was saying to the Jews in America, and it was in the uh, American Jewish Committee in Washington, I say to them, with all my respect to you and your efforts to come to, our, to this convention and to participate and to send your children to, to Jewish school and to pay for it. There is a difference between my Jewishness and your Jewishness. Why? Because I, my Jewishness is total, meaning I have to answer questions that never in your life you will answer. You will answer this question as an American. The question is to go to war in Iraq, yes or no, you have to decide but as an American, not as a Jew. While I have to decide all these questions as a Jew, and I have to give a Jewish answer if I have to torture a terrorist that I caught in order to squeeze from him information, and the value and the moral question, how much I can torture him in order to get him. And this is a, a Jewish question, not an American question. So the scope of my Judaism is total in every field and in everything, and economy and social welfare and all these things, I have to give a, answers as Jew and the values of Judaism will be determined with what I am doing. But therefore, the Jew who is not in Israel is less complete. Of course. In America, you, can, you have the, the hand on the knob of your volume of your Jewishness. If you say, enough Jews, I don't want to see any more Jews, enough discussion of the Jews. <laughs> but uh, can you be, can I do it in Israel? I cannot. I am locked in my Jewishness, as you are locked in your Americanism.
You cannot say, I, to, this year I will be less American. You cannot say this. You cannot say this sentence. But a Jew can say, this year I have many things to do. I will wait until I will have, I will retire. But then I will go back to the synagogue and be uh, activating my Jewish activity. You can put your, your hand on the volume of your Jewishness. This is diaspora. 